Here is Paranoid by Omilab. It is supposed to be a very hard map, and I am told to play it on I'm Too Young to Die. I, uh, I mean, I do what I'm told, so we'll see how hard it really is. D running. 184, 35, and 4. <clears throat> I mean, there's 200 health right here. I guess 199 health right there. <clears throat> um, but we'll see what we got here. Hmm. Interesting. Soul Sphere. You're still alive? Die already. Nothing there. I don't know anything about this mapper. How experienced. What uh, styles. Homey Lab favors. I can tell you, I can tell you this though. This map is not super hard, and <laughs> definitely does not need to be played on. I'm, I'm too young to die. Oh well, now I'm gonna die actually. <laughs> I don't know where he came from, but uh, nice move there. Kind of poetic justice for me, as I'm as I'm saying. This map is not hard. I would have died on any other skill level just by the double health and stuff, or uh, half damage. Yeah, I didn't. Not sure where they came from, but here they are. So gotta deal with them. But yeah, I'm also not playing this with any semblance of caution. So. Oh, there's some more stuff. Yeah, maybe all this stuff isn't there on the. Other difficulty levels. Interesting ways to block things here. Things are used. Damaging floor? What the heck? Come on. Why is this damaging? There's no reason for this to be damaging. I don't even know what sector is damaging. If you can't even tell what sector is damaging, it shouldn't be damaging. This is a different texture for no reason. So yeah, Omi Lab's a beginner. And that's okay. Um, but yeah, this isn't... Uh, this is not exactly, you should play this on I'm too young to die first material. I mean... If you take this piece by piece, it's gonna be actually, I think, very easy. Um, I only really got in trouble because I... Oh, look at that. I really only got in trouble because I was being hasty. Excellent. Got a plasma gun. So that's dam so yeah, there's random damaging textures, which is not really cool at all. But whatever. It's quite the maze. Someone's been playing some Doom One or Wolfenstein even. Sounds good. That looks like a trap. Yep, 
Might as well grab the Megasphere, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot to this, though. There's another damaging sector. Oh, forgot about the lighting I had. A few more areas to explore. Wait, what's that? Oh. Is that just telling me you get the yellow key over there? I guess so. Yeah, it looks like this all opens up at some point. So yeah, that's another beginner move. You probably want to mark those as hidden, or not hidden, but uh, secret, or mark as impassable, whatever the designation is on your particular editor. All right, that's where I started. So yeah, I guess no choice but to go by that Megasphere now. Nice flickering with the lights. Oh, whoops. <laughs> He's not gonna like that. Wow. He held his own pretty well there. <laughs> message there. Alright. Where'd you teleport to? Right there. And another Megasphere. Well, I've only lost three. Oh, wow. I guess it's time for serious business now. I think the lines are backwards here. On teleport lines, it does matter which way the little pegs are facing. That tells you which direction you teleport from. So a lot of times that doesn't really matter, but for teleport it does. Yeah, I was wondering about a rocket. Oh, there it is right there, okay. Oh, I mean, what happens when I go down there? Obviously something happens. Uh-oh, what happened there? This must trigger something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. There's like ridiculous numbers of cells out here though, so... I don't even need this vulnerability. Just gotta kill some of these. Oh! Oh! Archvile though. That could present problems. I don't find them. I don't think he's active yet. Oh, I didn't get a backpack. That's kind of unfortunate. And look, there's more. More.
Right, I'm gonna save here. I just want to check the kill count on hard. 218 on easy. It only goes up six, so I don't know. Um, so yeah, I, this is not really how you make a big epic finale fight. For, there's there's way too much high powered ammo for one thing, so you can just spam whatever you want to spam. Oh, the Archvile found me, wherever he is. Yeah, and then you get the BFG. Oh, now it gets a little bit more serious. Funkiness is going on over here. So, yeah, I mean, look at all the supplies that I didn't get. Megasphere, uh, Invulnerability, Soul Sphere, another Megasphere way in that corner, another Invulnerability over in that corner, BFG, another Invulnerability there. Um, four 700 cells right there. I thought there was Invulnerability in one of these corners. Yeah, there it is right there. And also something over here. There's another, so that's a thousand cells I didn't use. And there's a megasphere back there. Um, yeah. So, and I don't point this out. I don't point this out to show that I'm awesome at Doom. I point this out just to to show whoever is watching this and um, Omi Lab in particular. I don't know what standards you're working with, but. So these guys teleported back. Those, those lines could uh, maybe block monsters and then they wouldn't teleport back. But it, yeah, anyway, um, people are just good at Doom. And I'm not even in the probably 50th percentile of Doom skill. And yet this is an absolute breeze. So I, I just, you know, don't tell people start on I'm too young to die. My wad is hard. It, it's not. It's not hard. I mean, there's, <laughs> there's just way too many supplies. Even if you take away all these supplies, like just take away all the health, all the mega spheres, all the soul spheres, all the invulnerabilities, it's still not a very hard wad. Take away all this excess ammo too. It's still not a very hard wad. There's just there's too many angles for Doom Guy to take advantage of. Too much cover. The Cyber Demon's a non-factor. The Arch files are pretty much non-factors as long as you get some cover, which is very easy to do. Um, yeah, that's just... I don't know. Well, let's go in here and see what happens. So yeah, I definitely regret listening to the advice and playing this on easy. Okay. 
So is there one last big fight in here, or what? Oh no, we're not doing Icon, are we? Alright, we are gonna save for that. Just because Icons can be very unfortunate. Yeah, it's weird that you can always go back. Death or what? Oh god. Well now it gets hard I guess. <laughs> Still probably do too many uh See what's over here. Did I get the suit already? Crap. Oh well. Oh crap, I'm on a suit, I think. I can't even tell. What the heck is this? I don't know what's going on. Well, how do I actually get up there to shoot in the thing? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's simple enough. Unfortunately, I don't have any more cells out here. I wonder what the angle is. I wonder if I have to do it on the move like in Doom 2. I sure do. Crap. Alright, we're done. Alright, well, um, I mean, yeah, I kind of sit at the end is not gonna win a whole lot of popularity points. People just aren't really into that kind of thing. I don't mind a nicely done Icon of Sin. This one wasn't particularly well done, in my opinion. Um, yeah, as far as uh, the map proclaiming itself to be really hard, um, it, there's really almost no challenge to it at all until the very end, and even then there's so many um, invulnerabilities. I mean, there's enough invulnerabilities that I could have saved one and entered that area with an invulnerability before getting any of the ones in there. And then there's two or three in there. Not to mention I could have actually gotten the BFG, which I left on purpose because the map was so easy. Um, and and uh, there's, you know, a couple of soul spheres in that room. The only thing there isn't really in that room is enough plasma to kill the cyber demons easily. But yeah, if you got the BFG, that might be a different story. Although they are on those lifts, so it could still be a problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's... It's very crude overall, it seems like. Most of it's pretty haphazardly thrown together, except for the ending seems to be a little bit more thought out. 
but most of the encounters it just seems like let's throw monsters in this maze, let's throw monsters in this faux slaughter arena or whatever it is, let's just throw monsters around without really much knowledge of what makes an encounter work. Uh, honestly, the best section is probably the maze section because it does a pretty good job of getting you lost. Um, not because it's all the same, but just because it's all, um, it's varied enough in its shape and stuff. So you kind of lose track of your north, south, east, and west while you're in there. And there's a uh, potential for some, some, uh, solid stuff in there, like the Baron Sandwich that actually would have killed me on anything but easy, which I was on. Um, and not just easy, I'm too young to die, I mean. So the, that... That section had some potential with the darkness and, and, you know, monsters coming from different directions while you're not necessarily expecting them and stuff. But then all the bigger encounters were just littered with supplies that made them really joke level easy, unfortunately. And I, and I say that as, as someone who is not, you know, UV maxing Sunder maps on FDA or something like Not at all. Not even close. Not even remotely close to that. So... Um, you know, for me to say that, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could max this on ultraviolence fairly easily too, but, um, so that's one thing to just keep an eye on, is to be mindful of, is the modern Doom difficulty is very different from IWAD Doom difficulty. But, uh, yeah, I mean, this is beginner material. Visually, there's really not much to look at. Uh, encounters are, are pretty crude overall, and there's definitely some little errors. There's some funkiness with some textures bleeding through or some flats bleeding. Um, some of the teleport lines were flipped the wrong way, stuff like that. Uh, I didn't find any soft locks, anything broken in that regard. But uh, overall, it's... Uh, Certainly a near beginning of mapping career effort, but there's always room for improvement. I would certainly suggest um, not going for such a magnum opus feeling attempt here. Just something real basic, a basic tech base, a basic hell map with 100 monsters maybe and only takes 10 minutes to beat, something like that, just to work on, work on map layouts, uh, uh, bestiary knowledge and, and skill of usage and stuff like that as well as even just the Doom functions, the Doom Builder functions, the different actions and specials and stuff like that.